Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to remotely shut down computers over the internet. But for this to work, the computers have to be on the same network as you. So you can't down you can't shut down your friend's computer that's two miles away. It won't work. So let's get started. First things first, to have this to work, you must be running Windows XP or Windows Vista. The first thing you need to do is run the command prompt as an administrator. To get to the command prompt, go to start all programs then scroll down till you see the accessories folder within the accessories folder there should be a entry named command prompt now don't click this instead right click then click run as administrator if you got it working correctly you should get a window that looks like this the next thing we need to do is to see all the computers on your network to do this in the command prompt type netview n e t v u space v i e w it should show the names of your computer first then under that any other computers on your network you can do this hack on your computer but why would you want to do that that's no fun so pick another computer then type ping space that's p i n g then space then type the name of the other computer you should get a something that looks like this. It should say pinging, then the name of the computer, then in brackets it should have that computer's IP address. That's what we need. So, we have that IP address. So now you need to type shut down. then space then dash i you should get a window that looks like this in this dialog here you want to click add then add the IP address of that computer then click OK now under that you can select what you want this to do you can shut it down you can restart it or you can make it appear as if it was a unexpected shutdown will click shut down. You can even have a display warning. It would say this computer is shutting down in blank seconds depending on what you set here. Um, you can even set it to say why it's shutting down. Other, it could be a hardware maintenance, hardware installation, operating system reconfiguration, or security issues, or application installation. Uh, we'll have it be a security issue. Then you can type whatever message you want to appear. Then you just click OK and it's been done. Thanks for watching this video and I'll have more up soon.